Let me start this video by telling you a story. The story is of teacher. He was a professor in a regular college. And suddenly, within a few years, he went ahead and became an industry leader. Now, this is not a regular story. This is the story of a big biotech and pharma giant, Dr. Reddy's. A similar story happened 10 years ago again. There we had a professor, Indian professor, teaching in Malaysia. Then he gets a position for postdoc in US in John Hopkins. And after that, he returns to India and becomes an industry leader in uh, another company, which is ITC. Now, both are live examples and um, I have seen both of them happening. So then the question came in my mind is how can a graduate student, a 22 year old, a postgraduate student become an industry leader in the future? Because if I'm sure these kind of foundations has to be laid in the beginning of your career, then only you can become that big, right? So to answer that question and to help you today, I'm making this video. I'm not going to take much of your time, just five to seven minutes where I'm going to outline what would you need to become an industry leader in the biotech and pharma market. Now, to be very sure about it, let me tell you one thing. If you are feeling that, no, this video is not for you and you can never become an industry leader, you're mistaken. Anybody and everybody can become an industry leader. But for that, you have to dream big and you need to take the first steps today. And you've already chosen to take the first steps by watching this video, right? So let's start with the first point. Now. One thing common in between these two leaders, in fact, all the leaders, if you see, except the political leaders, is education. The first point, education comes first. If we don't have the right ingredients, can we make a nice food, cuisine? No, right? If I don't have, have the atta, can I make chapati? No, I cannot. So that raw material, the ingredients to your future leadership position is in the education. So education first, a minimum of graduation is a must if you want to become an industry leader. So that's something which I am sure you already have. Now, coming to the next part. Okay, you have the, you know, all that. But then what would you need next? Because you see, biotech, pharma and chemical industry is a knowledge intensive, knowledge driven industry and you're going to be a knowledge worker. You're not going to carry load on your head, head right? You're going to do things with your head, not on the top of your head, right? So that is where what will you need is a practical exposure. You need to do things which is which is not written in the books and neither it is, uh, you know, uh, taught in a school or a college. These are gained with experience. So that is where practical exposure. So once you have the right education side by side, you need to get and gain the right practical exposure. Okay. Now let's come to the third point. The third point is actually the soul of this video and that is develop leadership skills. You know, once upon a time, I was a very shy person. So shy that I will not even talk to a stranger. The moment I'll see somebody, a stranger, I'll just go into other room because I'll be scared that what if they talk to me? I'll not be able to answer, right? But over a period of time, I learned this the harder way that leadership comes with experience, but leadership can also be taught, right? Now, of course, you can uh, join some B school or um, some leadership certification and diplomas. But it it will always come from within and with age. It's not that somebody pushes a button and you become a leader, okay? So leadership skills is very important. And if a shy person like me can become a leader, why can't you? So all you have to do is start nurturing yourself. Start developing leadership qualities and leadership skills. Read a lot of books on leadership. And then slowly you become a leader, right? Because even though you have the right education and the right practical exposure, You'll always be a follower unless you decide to be a leader, unless you have the leadership qualities. So develop leadership skills. That's the crux of the matter. Now, how to do that? Let's That we'll cover in some other video. But right now, the aim is to make you industry leader. So third point is develop leadership skills. Okay. Now, the fourth point. The fourth point is about change. Charles Darwin says, that the, not the strongest of the species, nor the smartest of the species will survive. The species which will adapt to change will survive. That is you. You see, right now, the industry is in a dynamic mode. In fact, all the time, industry is in a dynamic mode, right? And every and any industry is in a dynamic mode. So that means 
things are changing things are moving right just uh, today i was reading uh, the um, comment by um, the founder co-founder of reagen um, he is a part of our i biome uh, whatsapp group so he's the ceo of reagen and he says that when in 1990 it used to take so much time in drug discovery today it is taking less time so what we used to spend so it was in billion and what we used to do now is in you know rupees uh, like hundreds of thousands of rupees so what has happened the change has happened over a period of 20 years change is dynamically happening over a period of time every week every month so if you are adapting to that change then only you can become a leader otherwise you will be a leader of past not today not of the future so to become a leader of the future you need to adapt changes faster faster than anyone else right industry is in dynamic mode you have to be in a dynamic dynamic mode so you need to keep yourself up to date and you need to keep yourself adaptive in adaptive mode to the dynamism of the industry that's the fourth point for today now coming to the fifth point and that is something which i always tell you networking is the key network within the industry because even though you have everything you can't unless you expose yourself unless you tell the world that you exist the world won't know you exist right so uh, i'll tell you another story about see I, w- i was shy i used to be shy somewhere still i am shy so um i'll not go to events i'll avoid events but then one day i attended a conference i met some people i forged some relationships and that led to bigger you know advancement in biotechnica's growth the same thing can happen to you so you have to network you have, your network is your net worth right like ambani's have a net worth of 50 billion dollars adani has say 110 billion you have uh, elon musk 200 billion same way what is your net worth your net worth currency is not money it is a number of people whom you know it's like you make a phone call and they'll get you a job you make a phone call they'll help you uh, get placed they'll you'll make a call and they will get you an internship you'll make a call and they'll uh, you know get you a high paying job so that net worth right and as you will grow your net network will grow right so you have to keep networking within the industry i have made a separate video on how to network in the industry you can check biotechnica's youtube channel there it is written uh, made i think two videos we did one was live stream and one was a regular video on this so please check that out that will be very help- helpful and insightful for you so right now let me summarize the, uh, this video by saying that if you are not gearing up to become an industry leader you are denying a lot of money on the table a lot of opportunities on the table you are leaving it away so what you have to do is first thing decide that you want to become a leader then educate yourself develop leadership skills expose yourself to practical uh, exposures practical uh, things and then adapt to the changes which is happening in the industry on a daily basis and that you can do always by listening to biotechnica's youtube channel and of course network with everybody that's how you grow and if you want to network with me you can always reach out to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org or on linkedin you can just search shekhar suman biotechnica you will find me there thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was insightful let me know in the comment section if you have any questions queries or comments i'll be right there to help you guide you mentor you thank you so much take care bye bye